Hello Aquarius. Welcome to Royal Mystic. This is the January 1st through 15th reading, first reading for the year 2019. Welcome and this is for all Aquarius, Sun, Moon and Rising. This is a collective reading. That means if you'd like a personal reading with your specific information, please go to royalmystic.com, book your appointment and I'll be able to tune in to your specific energy. So with that being said, Let's proceed. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirits, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you for being present along with our higher selves to allow all Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you so much, divine. Your information is always welcome and very appreciated. So, here we go, guys. Starting our new year. This is your here and now. Celebrating right off the bat. <laughs> Celebrating to the point of exhaustion. <laughs> oh, so this is a timekeeper so far. Yep. And we have the uh, career, uh, not career. This is your love life and relationship life. I'm jumping ahead. Uh, career and finances this side. So nice celebration there. Lots of new things happening for Aquarius. Here we have the Hermit. The Hermit is all about uh, lining up your energy, uh, allowing yourself to reconnect with your higher self and source, uh, getting yourself back on track, so to speak, for the, for the year. So the beginning of January for you will be about bringing in the energy that lights your soul, okay? It lights your path, allows you to bring back that beautiful aura that you have and uh, restore yourself on your journey. There is a playlist on my page. If you click my eyeball, I've got my eyeball ring on too to commemorate my little icon. Uh, if you click the eyeball on my uh, YouTube channel, you will find that I have a playlist called Meditation. And that will help in this if some of you don't, uh, don't know where to begin. The vibrations that are uh, these are recorded with are listed and it tells you what they're trying to restore the harmony of. Sounds matter. So here's the Three of Cups and this is all about having your cups overflowing. Joy, happiness, new beginnings, peace, intuition. Uh, this is a wonderful emotional celebration. Sorry, my standard hiccups always have to show up. We have the Four of Swords next. And the Four of Swords is talking about allowing yourself to uh, restore your energy properly. This is having to do with this Hermit card. Uh, recover, recuperate, and, uh, and restore yourself. Rejuvenate. Give yourself time to get, make sure you get enough sleep. Don't try to burn the candle at both ends. Allow yourself to eat good food. Don't skip meals. Okay, and... This is three days, three weeks, three months, or third time's the charm. You've got two sets of threes here, okay? So one is celebrating, then you've got the one where you're tired, the four of swords, and then you go into the three of swords. Now, Aquarius, the swords are your energy. So you are the air sign. This is telling you, this is the cautionary tale here. Uh, within this time period, you're going to have a big movement. This is the empress, and the empress is the divine feminine. This is the universal feminine energy. She is the divine goddess energy. She is God in the feminine form. So this means there's something brewing in the oven, okay? Something is about to come to life, be, be born into existence for you that will you will need all your strength for. So it's a good thing. It's something wonderful being brought in for you. But you really, you, you're not, you don't have a lot of time to wear yourself out and, and on nonsense. You've got to make sure that you're not just party, party, party. You want to be sure that you're focused because it's coming. This timekeeper is telling you. So in your relationship, love life, and spiritual life, you have the Two of Swords. Now the Two of Swords for a lot of you is choosing not to choose. So if uh, you're in a relationship, you may be at a standstill as to moving to the next level. If you are... Uh, not in a serious relationship and you're in the place of uh, being a bachelor or bachelorette 
This is you going, you know what? I like that just fine. I'm not really ready to change my situation. And then the universe laughs <laughs> and comes in with this Ace of Cups. So this is a new beginning. So a lot of you are feeling like, you know, you, you kind of like things the way they are, but that's just, that's usually the, uh, the crux when it happens. That's usually the catalyst for the change. Uh, as soon as you say you're comfortable and you like where you are, the universe goes, oh, okay, well, let me throw a bear in the boat. So here is the Ace of Cups uh, coming in and it's so showing this new cycle, this new beginning, and it's a blessing. This is the golden chalice. This is the Holy Grail. So this is an overflowing cup of abundance, health, healing, intuition, very strong, emotional, uh, in a good way, love. And this is holding your cards to your chest, so or someone else is, if someone feels this way about you. This is holding your cards to your chest and not really saying out loud what's going on. So this is uh, holding back your feelings, reserving your feelings. That's why he's holding it close to his chest. So... Here we have moving forward into the Nine of Cups in your career and finance. This is a celebration. This is uh, possibly some of you are getting uh, moved up, getting an advancement, some kind of uh, upgrade in your job, or maybe just getting a job. Some people are looking for work. And this is saying you're celebrating, you're happy. This is uh, cheers, you know, let's, let's have a drink, everybody, let's celebrate, this is good news, this ties right in with the celebration. Now, the Queen of Cups is here, and so even though you've got this good news, and you're happy and celebrating, um, the future's still not completely certain, and there's a little bit of, uh, emotion tied to that, a little bit of fear, that's what this, uh, Queen of Cups, she's, she has a little melancholy going on because you see the storm clouds here. So there's something brewing out there and uh, it's not showing itself yet. So she's she's having a little bit of a reaction to not knowing what's, what's coming. Uh, the Two of Wands for some of you is going to be about looking at the situation and choosing the best possible movement forward. So when you allow this uh, energy to come in, it's just examining which way you wanted to go about doing something. It does not mean one's right or one's wrong. It means that either way you choose, you will learn whatever lessons are out there for you to learn in a different way. So they both end up in the same place. It's not like you're going to be off the path and never go back. Uh, this is not uh, it's not a fork fork like one's wrong and one's right and you're going to have disaster if you choose the wrong one. It's not about that. It's about choosing the path that you want to take and how you want to approach. So one is mountainous and kind of scary and treacherous and the other is kind of the beach scenery. Now I choose beach because I've been on mountainous before and I, I just like mine little straight little path. <laughs> Sometimes we don't get to choose, but at this moment, you do get to choose. So whatever your option is, you get to choose. Thank you, angels, archangels, divine pure white light, divine spirit, spirit guides, gods, and goddesses. Thank you for clarifying this reading for Aquarius, sun, moon, and rising to allow them to have the information they seek to assist them in remaining on their highest possible spiritual path. Thank you so much, divine. Your energy is always appreciated and very welcome. And there's some controversy going on. And definitely branching out into a new beginning for some of you. And how you proceed in your work life. There may be a change in... Uh, where you go to work or how you do your job. It may be an advancement for some of you. You've got the world in your hand and you've got the beautiful sunrise. So this is a new dawn, a new beginning. There's some, this indicates uh, work because it's got the rods in it, but the cups indicate family. So some of us may be going or uh, have gone through some stuff with the family during this these close times of, of holiday season. Uh, and this is a little bit of that controversy or a little bit of a, just a little squabbling going on. Nothing crazy. I think it has to do with family. So, you know, if, especially when drinks are involved. So when the, when the drinks get to flowing, sometimes the family gets to squabbling. 
Here we have the Four of Swords, which is where I told you, please be good to yourself, allow yourself to recharge. Uh, and the Page of Pentacles. The Page of Pentacles is coming in to tell you about this new opportunity that's coming in your job. Now, three days, three weeks, three months, third time's the charm. And these beautiful Seven of Cups, which is an overabundance of blessings. Now, these blessings are gifts from the universe, but they look like work and they feel like work. And that's why you're going to need to be recharged for it because to... to process your way through them you're going to have to really be up you know on your on your game okay and here is the empress and the new beginning and something wonderful coming in being being developed with the king of swords this is the archangel michael so anything that's trying to interfere will be moved out of the way this is also your energy aries uh, Aries, Aquarius, sorry, don't know where that came from. I know that it's Aquarius. <laughs> that was bizarre. So here is, <laughs> here is the King of Swords. So this is all about the Aquarian energy. Very strong, very able to handle business when we need to handle business. Very sharp-minded, very capable of defending himself. And it is also the Archangel Michael, who is very, very good at removing obstacles. So this is the quintessential energy of you having the divine come in and divine protection as well with your strength. Because... Aquariuses are very fierce when they're when they're ready for battle. Um, I have a few. My son is Aquarius, and my really good friends are Aquarius, and my sister's an Aquarius. So um, I, I I I know of what I speak. Here is uh, not having the decision made yet, but keeping your faith in what it is that you want. So to all believers, this is keeping your faith, and no matter. Whether you're ready to make the decision or not, just be in faith that everything is going to work out the way you need it to. So then we have the Ace of Cups, which is the faith being answered. And the Five of Swords, which is don't get your cart before your horse. Don't stake a claim to it until it is actually yours. Okay, don't jump the gun. And make sure that the person that's making this claim or this uh, move toward the some of you are having someone try to be romantically interested in you. Uh, make sure that they really mean it. Okay, this, is, this can mean being a, a false claim. Okay, here is the Page of Cups, which is holding, holding it to your chest. And the Empress, which is the Divine Feminine. So this is the beginning of something big if this energy is in here. This is inspiration. This is a new birth, a new beginning. So... The Divine Feminine is present twice. So you have the Empress twice. And just because I'm saying Divine Feminine doesn't mean it's not about a man. It could be man or woman. It's just the energy of feminine energy. Nine of Cups with the Three of Rods. Expansion moving forward. So some of you are actually changing jobs, leaving the old stuff behind. And what she's fearing is the change because the death card's coming in to make the big change, to make the sweeping change, clearing the decks, moving the, a lot of people, even though they're begging for the new thing, hate it when things change. Um, they're, it's hard. It's scary. You don't know what to expect, but that's okay. This is, this is necessary. This is like the big bulldozer that comes and sinks the blade just enough to turn all the dirt to where it's fresh and clean and there's no stumps or stubble and everything is smooth and graded out to ready for you to build on it, okay? Or plant on it, whichever you want. And whatever choice you make, you end up sitting pretty. This is the Nine of Pentacles. This is having the abundance you want, being very independent, and allowing yourself to enjoy the fruits of your labor, okay? This is the Garden of Eden. That's what this card depicts. And so, Aquarius, this is a very good reading. I wish you all a very blessed new year. Thank you for going through 2018 with me, and I look forward to seeing what 2019 holds. Uh, please don't forget there are daily readings out there. I'm about to start my subscription service or my membership for my channel to get the dailies. And 
we have the 2019 yearly overview that's already out there on a playlist. Just go to my channel and click my eyeball. It'll take you right to it. Many blessings to you. Thank you for all the likes, shares, and subscribes. Don't forget to, sub sub to subscribe if you haven't. And I send you all the love I have. Thank you so much. I'll see you again soon. Namaste.